Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 21st episode of this series and today we have Prem here with us who has been recently placed at Sabre as a part of his campus placements at PIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all the students belonging to uh, all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Prem and understand his experience interviewing for Sabre. Hi Prem, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, hi Jishnu, thank you so much. And yeah, so I am Prem Kumar Singh. I am uh, finally a student at VIT Vellore and I have a CGPA of 9.53 and uh, I am a front-end and back-end web developer as well as an app developer and I recently got placed in Sabre as a software engineer work. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you so much. You cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so like everyone, like almost everyone was eligible to apply. Mm -hmm. And after the shortlisting, around 1200 people, mostly nine pointers, were eligible for the online assessment. Okay. And the online assessment consisted of three major sections. Mm -hmm. The first one was aptitude. It had 20 questions, you had to do it in 25 minutes. And another uh, section was uh, technical okay. MCQs, mm -hmm. and uh, it had 25 questions, you had 35 minutes for that. Mm -hmm. Then you had two coding questions, you had to do it in one hour. Mm -hmm. So okay. after, after that OA, around 50 students were shortlisted for uh, interviews, mm -hmm. offline interviews at the AC mm -hmm. office. and. Uh, First round was a uh, technical round one, where I got uh, the one-on-one -on -one interview with the team lead at Sabre, hmm. and he asked basic computer fundamental questions like OS, Hoops, DBMS, CN, and all. And then he proceeded with uh, two uh, DSA questions. One was on try, and one was on graph. Both were medium to hard level questions. And some of my friends even got uh, questions which they solved during the OA. And they were asked to optimize on it, but yeah, but I got different two different uh, DSA questions. And after this round, approximately thirty people were like uh, shortlisted for the next round, which was the managerial round. Okay. In the managerial round, uh, yeah, in the managerial round, uh, we had we had the there were two directors of engineering present there, hmm. and those two were taking the managerial round, hmm. and. Uh, yeah, so in the managerial round, uh, there was mostly questions on your resume, internships, and a basic high-level system design question was asked to me, hmm. and also write a simple API contract for a test case they gave to me. Right. And yeah, it, uh, some some situational questions were also given by the director of engineering. Okay. In the managerial round. Hmm. Yeah. So after that. Uh, the HR round was conducted. Hmm. Around 20 people were shortlisted for the HR round. And uh, my HR round was conducted at around 7.30 p.m. Uh, we were seated in the lounge and then we were asked to come for the HR round. And in the HR round, it was very basic. The shortest of all the round was HR round. Hmm. Uh, it was basically five to seven minutes only. Hmm. Just The HR just wanted to know us well. Introduce yourself and why Sabre and uh, what are your plans for masters and all hmm. and is there any chance of ppo conversion in your last internship hmm. so these were the basic questions asked in hr round okay after that we we waited for around one hour then the results came in hmm. uh, the hr came in in the lounge with the selected students list hmm. and he announced it in the uh, cdc lounge and we got to know that we were selected okay okay that's great congratulations again and thank you Jishnu. yeah so do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share yeah so what i think is in what i did in my three years hmm. was focused more on development side i didn't focus more on dsa but i would suggest for setting for on-campus placement right. that dsa is very important Hmm. Like even basic dev is enough and if you have DSA skills that are very good, the hmm. basic dev skills can also get you placed in 10 plus LPA companies. 
right so be focus more on the dsa and aptitude also aptitude is also important many people who have good dsa skills fail in the first over round itself because of aptitude hmm. so i would tell my juniors to focus more on dsa and aptitude right. but also side by side do basic development as well hmm. okay that that is something i would suggest to senior juniors okay that's great thank you so much thank you for all your suggestions and for sharing your experience i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you thank you jishnu thank you all for watching if you did like this video if you found this helpful please do like share and subscribe and all the best on your placements thank you all for watching